<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Legacy and Legends podcast. Amy's never been live on this one, and in the energy. So this one's a bit, oh, we have fun. This is the first one, though. Usually it's virtually with people all over the globe, but Amy is actually my neighbor, and we're here in Branson, Missouri. So we're doing a girlfriend style podcast yep. interview in person. So I'm stoked to have Amy with us today. And um, Amy, we're just going to jump in. The Legacy okay. and Legends podcast Let's... is a lot of fun, and people love to get to know the behind the scenes of like, ooh, you're a show star, you're a celebrity. How did you do that? And they never get to know. So <laughs> we're going to find out the things like, Amy, what's your favorite movie? Oh my gosh, you're going to ask me questions like this? It's like a game. It's like a game. Let's uh, go now. And if we have any probably common, the sound of music. <gasps> Do you know why I had not even seen that before we went on this Are mission? We finally watched the sound of music. It's so good. So maybe you guys have that in common with Amy. If you do, you are in sparkle. Yeah. So we're gonna see how it's many. It's got things everything are in it. It does. You can't miss. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about a favorite food? Because you may have followers who are like, I want to eat what Amy eats. <laughs> <laughs> it changes all the time. Uh, and especially right now, I've been wanting, normally I would want sweets, mm -hmm. but I've been wanting more savory stuff and I've been craving like anything with um, like tomato sauce and meat, which is weird. So like spaghetti sauce. So or, anything I can make And you. I made, um, <laughs> I made a, my, my husband and my kids, they won't, they won't even try it. And they <laughs> say it's gross, but it's amazing. It's a, uh uh what's the word oh my gosh zucchini mm -hmm. a zucchini lasagna Ooh, and yum. it's so oh, that's good so good i just had some oh okay right before now i, I came I for here <laughs> sounds amazing i, I made a couple anything. pans and i still have some so i don't know why the bruschetta was a hit <laughs> and i love tomatoes, oh, tomatoes. <laughs> This Italian girl right here made me some bruschetta the other day. So that good. recipe rock too. That's your husband's fault because I never made it, but we made it our own right oh, from the garden. So All right, so we know tomatoes. You want to be a fan? Yeah, I'm tomatoes. Right tomatoes. Okay. Oh and, oh, and it's just like, like fresh from the garden tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, another friend brought me some little cherry tomatoes and I was just popping those. So, so good. good. Okay, we're gonna spoil her after. I have a ton of green tomatoes and still some cherry yeah. tomatoes. So Amy gets them. Amy gets lost in the garden. All right, Amy. So what's a book that's impacted your life? Oh, that's a good one. Um okay, well, I mean, <laughs> just one that just popped up. Uh the the Count of, Count of Monte Cristo. Oh, <laughs> By Alexander Dumas. I'm a good uh, Dumas. Dumas. I don't know how to say that. Um, but I love, I'm not much for like nonfiction. I know yeah. that's dumb, but okay. I should. That's why we hang out. Um, but I love, um, well, and I like nonfiction. Mm -hmm. It just depends on the mood I'm in. Yes. So if I'm like, um, but I love, I don't know if, have you read The Count of Monte Cristo? I haven't. I'll have to. I need to read that. Oh my gosh prison break um uh, <laughs> like all this just oh okay it's that's good it. write it down i mean i know you could watch the movie but they've made a few different versions but oh my gosh i've read it like three times yeah. but i'm a foodie friend so i also I like I Les oh yeah, yeah oh, that, that book but it's like thick <laughs> oh one of the book that i did read yeah gone with the wind i read you the book read the i book? read the book and okay, you got so that like the, long. I like well, and I was like, this is gonna be good. And I never watched the movie or oh. anything. So this is and this is when I was probably in college and I'm okay. reading it. And we were on the road somewhere. I, had, I was like, it has to be a road. We were trip. on the road and I that. just I, I don't know if it's just you know a generational thing, but I would like sneak under my covers with my flashlight reading <laughs> when I was supposed to be in bed. And um anyway, it was in the middle of the night and I when I finished that book. And I have never had this reaction where I was like literally yelling. I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad with how that book ended. Oh. So if you know, or if you've seen, <laughs> oh, the girl's supposed to end up with the guy. And it, no, it was so frustrating. Not cool. Especially but you know, but that's a sign that of a book. Is but that's a sign of a good book to bring that much reaction. That much reaction. Oh, I was mad. I was screaming. Wow. I was by myself in our touring van up in the top bunk and everybody else was like staying at somebody's house and I was out there just reading um, to finish the book. And so you okay, guys anyway, want to see some massive So reaction. I love reading. I love reading. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few for you. I'm going to send you home with a few. Okay. I'm awesome. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. 
Oh, I need to read because I've been doing like Netflixing and, you know, so I, and I haven't been reading for a while. Okay. So that would be good. That you would know be what fun. we should do? And I'm sorry about this. AJ, I'm sorry if you're watching this. I think I have your copy Ooh. of AJ's book. <gasps> okay. So Amy and I are going to get a this. book from we're gonna AJ. We're going to shout out right now to <gasps> one of our other women of Ooh, power. What a sexy cover. So I'm pretty sure one of these is yours. One of these is, I was supposed to give this to you like so that. So AJ, thank you. These are from, we're going to do a book study. We're going to read this together. So this is yours. It's you okay. and I ink the connection of sexuality and spirituality Ooh la la! and i've so, taken aj's course, course. she's amazing she aj is amazing. is amazing wait 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 we're here we're here we're staying in the call okay it's recording we're, yes yes so there you go now you got a book to go home to and this is going to be awesome this wow, is actually a, sit there and look at that cover it's for fantastic Ooh la la. That's yeah awesome. that's aj put it here by my her relation my courses. hat that amazing. trina just gave me <laughs> yes you get yes. a present i'm on the podcast live so all these amazing connections and the sparkle oh. the sparkle all right so hmm. this one i know is going to be a lot but we'll try to condense it for okay okay so what has been your work and educational history journey that brought you to this point okay so my my work history is fairly simple <laughs> i've just okay. basically worked for my family my whole life that's it pretty Come much on. i mean pretty much <laughs> but so it wasn't i mean just any i did my first job yes. that i got paid um, was I was uh, part of a four-piece orchestra at yeah. Sundance, uh, uh, Robert Redford Sundance. Yes, and it was their summer theater. So it was me and my two, my brother mm -hmm. and my sister. So it was kind of almost family thing. Okay, and and then the band leader was a piano yes. player, and I was thirteen. Oh, so I was very young. And then the rest yeah. of the I'd never had like a regular job i never worked like uh fast food or anything no lifeguard no bus girl experience no because uh <laughs> i had the opportunity to make money uh performing so doing what what did you do you play an instrument or something i oh oh yes okay <laughs> um, might not know this i play story. an instrument Just, yes so and yeah. my family uh had a band okay. uh has but had a band when i was younger uh we all grew up uh playing classical music and then we started a bluegrass band and we would do things here and there. But I remember the very first show we yes. got paid. Your actual money? Twenty Some green. I got twenty dollars, you guys. <laughs> and I think the whole family got like two hundred dollars. <laughs> and for a little kid. That was at thirteen. That was at Rick's College in oh. Rexburg, Idaho. At My their uh, yeah, at I their um it. performing arts, mm -hmm. the Barris Performing Arts Hall. At the fact that I actually remember all that. So then your mind's yeah, like, I was I like, I couldn't believe how cool play. that was. Twenty dollars. That's amazing. But okay. I know we will forget that. That's hey, you start somewhere. And now what have you been doing? Like, okay, what inspired you to do what you're doing now? How did you go from twenty dollars to well, it's it's just interesting. It's it's kind of like I believe. If you're doing what you feel is right, yes, then opportunities come your way, and they, they just do. keep they just keep coming, mm -hmm. and that's what happened with our family. It, it's like, what are we? Wait, what? We're, <laughs> we're gonna have a family we're band. Have a band. This <laughs> is so weird. And my dad was a professor of economics, and just my mom is tone deaf, so you know you're, oh. you're like, yeah, so you're like a band because everybody thinks, oh, your parents, this must have been their dream, and it wasn't oh. that way. So it was me and my older brother and sister that wanted to start. The bluegrass band mm -hmm. so but anyway just things um just kept coming and landing in our laps yeah. like we the our first international tour was this clogging group that needed a band oh. um to play for them at an international children's festival yeah, cool. in france and they thought since it's a children's festival that the band also had to have children oh. so they asked us to be the band we were the only band of from all these countries all over the world we were the only band that had children in them so all the oh, dance God. groups had children okay we were the only backup band that had um children and not only that we were all one family <laughs> so all these news outlets were I like see. and 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 the oh. young joshua was like three or four and wow. jenny was i think he was like four and jenny was i think about um 15 something like that anyway so they seven kids uh, i said that wrong but it was seven kids in nine years i don't know it was a lot yeah so so it was like you know language barriers it didn't matter they were like mama papa and, one, two, three, <laughs> and they would count us all down and and we were on all of these Love news it. things and then what ended up happening after that 
the this guy named Mino D'Amato. He had at the time like a show like Johnny Carson, right? Okay. In Italy. Yeah. And he oh, he cool. he called us up, wanted us to be on the show. So that that uh, and he says, but we need a promotional video. And you know, just one thing leads to another. So we ended up somebody funded to get a, have us make a little twenty minute video, and that's, that's the awesome. video that eventually got us. Uh, uh, they sent it out to all these different agencies. We booked nine months solid straight on the road in, in a different state every single night. It was oh crazy. Gosh, we, that and that was crazy. when I was a senior, senior in high school, eventually, eventually. So these, mm -hmm. these are things that happened over the years, but that was like our big 91 nice. was our big uh, full time. My dad took us, took a sabbatical mm -hmm. from the university. We went out touring, um, didn't see our home for nine months. Wow. And, and we would wake up in the middle of the night at a gas station. I remember we would go in and, go, and we'd ask the gas station attendant, what what state am I in? And they just think, they look at us like, where did you come from? The state of confusion? I don't know. No, but we never knew where we were. Yeah. So Busy. lots of lots of really, really, really good memories, though. That's cool. really good memories. Because a lot of people, they, they watch and they listen because if they've ever dreamed of starting a band or want to trade a book or have their own show, they're like, how do you get in? And it seems like for everybody, there's that pivotal moment where you're yeah. like discovered or someone just and it explodes, you know, if it's going to go so fascinating. Yeah. And I think that if you're if you're working hard, mm -hmm. you're living your, your, your life as good as you can and, and right, you know, and, and, yeah. and, um, being obedient to the commandments and, 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 you know, you're really trying, then I think those opportunities will be placed in mm -hmm. your, in your way. Now, is it going to be all a cakewalk? No, yeah. no. So, so, you know, you, we've had so many breaks, mm -hmm. you know, so many, but you know, different things that we thought yeah would make life a lot easier and does it make life a lot easier not necessarily mm -hmm. but you have these wonderful amazing yes. experiences happen and then it just opens up more doors you get uh just lots of amazing amazing things that's exciting and i love watching those kind of stories like we just watched a documentary on you know the song that never gonna give you up oh yeah and never gonna give you up. oh yeah 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 never gonna <laughs> and we watched that whole video and i never knew the i did not know that. the rick roll thing I, I found out about that like um Oh, I don't know, maybe a few months ago. And I just thought it was the best. <laughs> so I we just, tried getting Rick so like for years. And I'm like, what is this? And we watched the show because Abby's doing it. And I'm like, now this guy know. has generationally now. That came out when we were in high school, I, I think. And it's so great. I love these kind of stories. It's so oh, fun. Somebody was wearing a friend of mine. He does um uh like a he looks just like uh Rolling Stones lead singer Mick Jagger. He looks just like Mick Jagger and he he's in one of the tribute shows yeah. here. And he does Mick Jagger, and he was wearing this T-shirt with this big um, uh, QR code on it. <laughs> See? No, just a QR yes, code. That's I was it. like, "What is? What is that?" And he's like, "Don't oh, just grab your phone." And I and I grabbed it, and it opened up the oh, YouTube Rick. link to <laughs> Rick Astley's "So You're Never Gonna Get You." That's it amazing. made me that's laugh. A great so idea. Hard. That that will was so great. That. that was this morning. I had a coaching call, and I've never had a client do this before. But she literally had me hold up the phone and Venmo, like got the QR code and just paid me. And I thought that was awesome. I'm like, that's really that's fun. Cool. That was a cool idea. Like, I know. instant, just open those flows, right? I, I don't I have any it. QR codes on me. We're right gonna now. work on that. We're gonna work on that. <laughs> Scan your I shirt. Mean, that's a whole new I thing. I get some that's Walmart QR thing. codes or something, but I don't have any for me. Oh my gosh. You might. You never know, right? Yeah. Okay. So Amy, what's a message you want to share through your work? Oh, well, the probably the biggest thing that um, I feel is a mission of what I do together with my family is that that you can that you can do and work and be with your family and do that together. That is um, the fact that we happen to have a family band that of course helps with that mission. But um, what we do is that we want to obviously make a living because that's completely realistic and that's what I believe yeah. what we're supposed to do. Okay. So that there's that, but then, but then the, the mission of sh just having a family being able to do something good together so that is so important. And so uh, what we do, um, 
what hopefully happens, and this happens a lot, mm -hmm. when somebody will say, I felt, I felt inspired to, I want to call my mom. I haven't yes. talked to her in five years. I want to, wh whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, um, story after story after story for years and years and years. And, um, or they say, I felt something, I felt something. And I want to just to bring happiness. Um, and I, I just happen to be in, um, in, in a field where, where I can do that, where I can um, share, do what I love, mm -hmm. uh, be creative, uh, share my talents uh, and uh, and just uh, bring people some joy. I love it so much because that it's literally is the heart the best. of Legacy and Legends. A lot of people, they get in there like, oh, it's family. Like mm -hmm. your legacy is your family. And the legend is if you continue those relationships and you have a way to connect, which is so cool. You've done it through your music. There's just yeah. one of the shows and you go and people come generationally, the grandparents, the parents, yeah. the kids, they continue to share that experience. And our kids, I mean. Mm -hmm. It keeps them really busy, so hopefully keeps them out of trouble. <laughs> yes. Hopefully keeps them out of trouble. So <laughs> far, <laughs> knock on wood, it's it's worked well so far. I love it. All right, and I know right now you've had quite a bit of things going on in your life, personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. Is there a piece of that that you want to share to help encourage people in your journey right yeah. now? Going through? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, uh, I uh, have normally really long uh, red yes. red curly hair and i just cut it off a couple weeks ago um i found out about a month ago that i have breast cancer so um and i started my chemo treatments a couple weeks ago and i just decided the day after i had my first chemo treatment i went and chopped it all off and i'm and i might i saved it and i'm gonna try to make a wig out of it but in, in fact i just keep, can keep seeing just hair falling um as i'm talking to you so um it's falling out so it's but you know i didn't expect this to happen my son when he was three he had leukemia and i you know that was crazy three and a half years of chemo treatments and then you know with yes. your with your boy with wyatt um all that the how that can take a toll but it also um there's this awesome i don't know there's this awesome blessing that you get from going mm -hmm. through those trials and um and i just having myself just to uh, start this chemo process it it helps me have a whole lot of compassion and empathy mm -hmm. for other people that have had to do chemo and then of course to realize oh my gosh this is what my son yes. was experiencing for three and a half years i'm like oh my goodness how did he do that um so yeah it's it's been crazy but i i've just decided um I'm not going to quit performing. I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to keep, keep taking it a day at a time. And, mm -hmm. um, and I did it. I did it last week when it was so hard. I did those shows. We had a show at road show in Indiana and I was just like, Whoa, my gosh, what am I doing? Um, it was three days after my chemo treatment. It was hard. Uh, but then, you know, I, I modified stuff. I'm not clogging and yeah. dancing in the show and the kiddos are taking, uh, over that role and it's nice I could just like sit backstage and on a couple of numbers and I'm like wow so this is what it feels like to not be sweaty all the time oh uh, right <laughs> well and as the show director right because you're the, re yeah. the director of the Duttons to be able to kind of let them take over the things they can and you can be back a bit like you're so involved in and i just want to encourage you to you're so amazing at taking care of everyone else but like to take care of yourself through this like rest when you need to but i get that you want to be involved and stay busy and yeah. when you can like everyday present time moments, it's right it's been nice to just take a little breather that and that's important and mm -hmm. my family has been supporting me in doing that so i'm like i'm not feeling guilty about yeah. it yeah I'm so actually really nice. glad to hear you share that though, because there's been a lot of people coming on. And if you've noticed too, there's such a huge trend of these stories where you see these people doing amazing things and then they like disappear because they literally burn out. They oh, crash oh, yeah. so hard because they go, 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 go. And then it's like, they look around and either their health relationship, yeah. something happened. So that's a good point. Um, So usually with uh, directing the show, we have two really really busy times one mm -hmm. is for the christmas season and then in arizona we over the winter time we change up the show every yeah. month so like in january we have a show february we have a show and mm -hmm. march we have a different show so and those are pretty stressful times but it's nice like in the spring mm -hmm. i can just like once we come back to branson mm -hmm. i can kind of take a breather but the breather happened and then our 
theater caught fire. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> that was, that's not a norm. Like that's not something that's happened. Before and yet. let me tell you, I, I knew I'd heard from people that mm -hmm. uh, have been through a fire, but you just never know until you have to go through it. Just having, you know, working with a restoration company and, and every little thing has to be gone through and documented and cleaned and okay, mm -hmm. are they going to keep this? Or, it's, it was, it's been crazy. And in fact, right after this, I have a meeting where I'm supposed to get all the pictures, the rest of the pictures, because that's uh, to the insurance yes. uh, company because we had so much junk in our theater, mm. so much stuff, but you know, and everybody like yes. feels that way about their houses, you know, like, oh, I got all this stuff, mm -hmm. I got to do this. And, but so that was crazy. And then we had um, a reunion show uh, that we opened up. Anyway, it's, there's, <laughs> I'm, I'm just talking all over the place, but life can be crazy, right? It, it, it can, but, um, but like you said, with, if you can figure out, even if there, it's good for us to have to do work hard mm -hmm. and to have to do those things and, and meet those, um, deadlines and things. But then once you meet the deadline, you do need to take a little bit of, of a breather, um, or else you will, it's like, a a, a pressure cooker. Oh, yeah. You're going to, for sure. And I know you're so good about like, you know, husband to go on a vacation every year to make sure you take time and you have that kind of off season, even plan in the summer when it's busy, mm -hmm. like a couple of weeks where you guys just stop before the Christmas show. And but, um, but even, even if it's just like, okay, this weekend, yeah, Saturday and Sunday or whatever. That's I mean, right. you just, you know, whatever works with your schedule and your mm -hmm. lifestyle, it doesn't have to be a big vacation or anything. You yeah. can, you can still regroup. Um, even if it's, yeah, go and get a massage or, That's right. or you know, pedicure just you know that's right those little things a walk a lot of times that's a woman which is like we're yes. just going to walk or a and date night or something just such a nice time of year right now to do that it is that's right well if you guys have never been to branson you can come out and see the Dutton show here um they also are out in arizona in the winter usually yeah right we perform in mesa arizona over the winter and right now since our theater is being restored we are mm -hmm. opening in april uh, but we are performing at the yakov smirnoff theater um, and he's been awesome. That's awesome. He's so much fun. That's cool. And yeah. you guys, um, Amy's also one of our women in power, um, speakers. She's been a keynote speaker for our events. And then also we do a big retreat out here in Branson in the spring. So if you want to come meet Amy in person and connect, we have a lot of fun. We go out and do excursions. Um, that's a really cool immersion weekend. So look forward to that. And I always love to ask. Yeah. You always all love you, you try to bring them to the show. It's so <laughs> yes, much fun. We do. It's, it's so much super fun. fun. Girls night out, women power. Um, which is all about being the queens of our castles. It's really about women being professional and having their families. You don't have to sacrifice one or the other. And it's that tricky balance of not just going all career or just family, but both. Because so many of us, we have degrees, we have skills and talents. And well, I believe not hiding your skills and talents under a basket. And like helps. what's really cool is there's been this move toward where you can do that mm -hmm. now. Uh, like so with, nice. and especially like where things have moved more virtually with yeah. COVID and everything. Um, exactly. Uh, it's, it's easier. It it's, it's getting easier to be able to involve, uh, to work with, you know, or, or around your family. Perfect. But so, sometimes we need a little teeny break, <laughs> a little teeny break, right? You can have that. That's we, okay. Girls night out. That's you come out. Girls night exactly. out. Retreat. Exactly. Heck, yes. So I always love to ask people, if you were going to make a hashtag for your younger self, this is part of what's going in a book for a future one that I'm doing. What would it be? Um, okay. Hashtag. Oh, but I don't even know if this, <laughs> this is gonna okay. mean something else, but uh, O T G one tough girl. Mm, I love <laughs> that. That should be your QR code. There you go. One tough girl. One tough girl. Heck yes. Or one tough woman. O T W O T G. <laughs> Whichever, either, either one of those. I love it. I love it. Whichever one doesn't mean something that it shouldn't. Okay. So whichever... <laughs> I love it. You know, when you choose something, you're like, wait, that's what, what that means? means? Yes, I have a few of those. <laughs> Another conversation. That would be a whole other podcast. But this girl's amazing. Uh, if you guys have not connected with Amy or Dutton, Amy Rambo. You are missing Rambo. out. Amy Dutton Rambo. I'm, I am both. She's both. You are my husband's out. used to being called by my maiden name, too. He doesn't really like that, but it's okay. It's Amy. Rudy. It's OTG Amy. <laughs> okay. Well, my friend, one tough girl right here, Amy Dutton. And thank you for being on the show. We oh, appreciate you so much. Me. 
uh, if people want to get a hold of you or come visit, what's the best way? Oh, yeah, sure. just we're on all of the different social media platforms. So mm -hmm. just search for the Duttons. So the Duttons, uh, we have the Duttons.com, Facebook, the Duttons, Instagram, the Duttons, Twitter, the Duttons, all of that. Duttons so all the love, yeah. All the Duttons yeah. Oh, and uh, every Friday night on the cable network RFD. We have a weekly TV show, and we season four just uh, started airing, and uh, I think episode four is this week. I oh, think. exciting! Uh, tonight. Okay, tonight. There you go. Yeah. So I'm gonna put yeah. those links and everything been editing down that below. And all that we do, we do everything ourselves. There you go. Yeah. Family biz. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, I will make sure those links are down below in the comments so that you can click and find those easily. And thank you so much for being on the show today. It's always great to have you. Um, everybody's here. You are the legacy in your own story. You're the author. So you get to determine the rest of the chapter. So keep going. I hope this inspires you today. And thank you for being with us. Amy. You're welcome. Bye.